All right, all right, all right. We're out here on the Mississippi backwaters, per kind of usual, checking out a new area. And there's a duck right there. Sorry, it's getting close to duck season. Oh, he's landing right there. Looks like a little hen woody. Anyways, we're out here on the Mississippi and it is about, well, it's actually 7.45 on the knot, so gonna try hitting some panty fish in the morning and see if I can get something to eat for later. My father-in-law hit this spot and got some nice perch, so that's what we're hoping for. I haven't had perch in a long time, so pretty excited about that. See if we can get into them. The water temp is 73.5. We just got a bunch of rain like two days ago, so hopefully that didn't like shut them off. But river's still pretty low. We're fishing in about like seven foot of water. And I'm just gonna be doing a tube jig. A little crappie tube jig, and then I'm gonna have a bobber with a hair jig with a little piece of crawler um, drifting behind. So as you know, in Mississippi, for Minnesota residents, you can have two lines, so. That's what I'm gonna rock. Better my odds. Let's see if we can do it and get into some jumbos. That'd be sweet. <laughs> Didn't have my camera on, but man, look at that. Nice stud there. Let's get that baby. Oh, a little catfish. Oh, there's something on my other rod, too. All right, little channel cat. You know, these aren't too bad eating. <laughs> On the old micro light channel cat with a bobber, six feet of water along a weed line. Yeah, who knows? Criminy. Frickin' northern? Ooh! All sorts of stuff today. You're bad. Right on the tip of the nose, so that's good. Little nerdy. All right, little mid afternoon update. We are, oh, right when I was gonna say the wind's dying down. Wind hasn't died down too much. Fishing slow, wonder if the rain kind of screwed with things. I don't know, um, just caught a little northern. I got a nice perch and actually a little channel cat also in the box. So I'm going to be eating something, just not exactly what I want to eat other than the perch. Shit. 
go. Oh no. Alright, just ran up the river. Got a nice little crappie here. Add to the bag. Just that one. Another aquarium. Nice gill. Nice gilly. Look at that one. Nice gill. It's a mixed bag today. All right. Just got back to the palace. And we got a mixed bag today. We got one channel cat, one crappy, one nice gill, and one nice perch. Crappie's kind of small. Channel cat's kind of small, but they're both keepers. Perch was a 11 and a half, and the gill is an eight, which is my minimum before keeping. Caught a bunch of dink largemouths and um, some smaller perch too. Not much on the gills or crappies, but got some new areas too. Got some enough fish to eat, but I'm gonna zip through these and show you what I got out of them. And first off, I couldn't find my other knife, so I had to use an old Rapala one and it was just trash. But crappie, gills, you can just tell a little bit more firm with the gills. I love a good size gill. Perch, kind of clean up like a walleye, um, kind of look like it as well. Uh, the flays, that is. And turned out pretty good and this is the most interesting one the old channel cat as you can see the perch kind of have it too but they got like this yellowish kind of meat so we'll see how that goes so we got all four we're going to cook these bad boys up tomorrow let them soak in some salt water and we'll do a comparison on uh, perch channel cat crappie and bluegill All right, so I got my perch, perch, catfish. Now I kind of chunked everything up. Perch, catfish, these are the crappie, and then these are the gills. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of flour to each kind of patch. Remember which ones they are. 
So it's got a little camp stove here with some butane and peanut oil. Filled about halfway up. And we're gonna go in with the copy into the wash. Get all the coffees over here. Nice put in the gills over here. About two to three minutes on each side. Here's the coffee. All right, we got everything all cooked up. The gills didn't really have the breading stick on very good. I don't know if I dunked it in the egg before or not. I think I didn't, but we got our crappie, gills, perch, and our catfish over here. So let's give it a rip. We're gonna go in for the gills first. Ready, bud? Yeah. Looks pretty good, nice and white. Kind of thin. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Kind of bland because it didn't have too much of the seasoning on it, like I was saying. But gill's still my favorite fish to eat. Maybe not out of this batch, but all right, crappies are next. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Mmm. Good. <laughs> that one's good. It's a little hot. It's good. He likes it. Nice and thick perch. Mmm. It might be too hot. Please. Blow on it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mmm. That one good? Good. That one's good too? <laughs> All right, now for the tried and true. Yeah. Catfish. Wow. Whoa. It's actually pretty flaky. And it's super hot still. Um, super flaky, I thought it was gonna be, have a different type of texture, but. Whoa. Whoa. It's definitely not firm. It's kind of mushy. It still tastes good and it's white, but it just doesn't have like that firmness mm -hmm. as of the others do. You want to blow on it? <laughs> blow on it. Can you say fish? Fish. <laughs> okay, you want to give it a rip? All right. That one's good too? Is it good? Approved. Well, he thinks they're all a 10. <laughs> all right, I gotta go with catfish last. It was really good, kind of mushy. It still tasted fine. Um, and then probably the gill on this batch, just cause it doesn't have much seasoning on it. It's still really good and firm. And then crappie and then perch number one. Perch out did it. Now time to put some ketchup on it.